Hi there, my name is Laura. I'm the owner of You Are Loved Templates. I make templates for productivity and overall lifestyle, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Macro Meal Planner. After you make your copy to your Google Drive, you can begin customizing. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Meals tab, and this is where you're going to enter all of the meals that you plan to eat and their respective calories, carbs, proteins, and fats for each ingredient. So in these gray boxes, this is where you're going to list the names of the meals. So for example, breakfast burrito, I put the ingredients and each of their calories, carbs, proteins, and fats. And it will total for you at the bottom here. There are 15 slots per category. So breakfast has 15 slots, lunch has 15, dinner and snacks have 15. Once you fill all those in, you'll go over to the weekly meal planner. I recommend duplicating it and labeling it for the week that you are planning. So for example, I'll do January 1st, 2024. And you can go up here and change it. Just double click the cell and select the day you want to start on and it will change all of these automatically. And let's say for example, you start on a Tuesday, these weekdays will change as well. But for this example, I'll just go back to January 1st. Here is where you're going to want to enter your target calories, carbs, proteins, and fats. So you can delete this and enter whatever you like into these cells here. And they're different for each day, but you could just copy and paste into each day if that's easier. I know sometimes on weekends people have different goals versus weekdays. That's why I didn't want to add any automations to this. Next thing you'll do is go down to meals so you can start planning. Once you list all of the meals on the meal tabs, they'll show up on these drop down menus. I only have the breakfast burrito, so I'll just select that and these will fill in automatically and give you your totals at the bottom and remaining as well. Also, these will adjust. It'll show you your progress towards your target. If it goes over, these will turn red. Also, your remaining calories and calories consumed, just so you can see it as a nice visual. Next is the water intake log. You can change the units here. I put ounces, cups, and bottles, but if you wanna add anything, you can just edit, add another item and type it in here and it'll be added to the drop-down menus. And when you do add one, you'll click Apply to All. So let's say, for example, your goal is 128 ounces. You can log over here when you're drinking. So let's say you had a 32-ounce bottle, um, maybe then a 64, and it'll show you your progress with this little progress bar and a percentage as well. And lastly, there's a grocery list at the bottom. You can add the quantity, the item and any relevant notes. And when you check it off, it'll cross off the entire row. So that's it for the macro meal planner. If you have any questions, you can email me at templatesyouareloved at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help.